thank you for joining us. If you are just joining us, subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. And uh, here now, instead of saying let's find the keyboard on both sides directly, let's represent this one with a letter and say let 2 minus x key be equals to y. Now, it will be easier for us to take the keyboard now and say from here, we can rewrite this and say this is keyboard of 2 minus x will now be equals to y. So when we take the key root on both sides now, we have key root on this side and the key root will cancel key. So therefore we have 2 minus x will now be equals to y key. So we have this and uh, from this we can also, you know, take s key here and say this will imply 2 minus y equals to s key. So when we take y here and take s cube there, we have that. So let me bring this one down here. I have 2 minus y equals to s cube. So let's solve these two equations now. So as we will label this as equation 1 and equation 2. So let's try to eliminate these two here by subtracting. So if we subtract here now, we are going to have 2 minus 2 gone. Then we have minus x minus minus y. That's minus x plus y. That's minus x plus y. Then equals to y cube minus x cube. So I can write this as well and say this is y minus x. y minus x equals to y cube minus x cube. Now from here we can let's take this one to this side. <coughs> Actually, we know this difference of two key, but before then, let's make everything to be on one side first. And we have y key minus s key will now be minus y minus x, then will be equal to zero. So from there now, let's apply the difference of two key here. That is, y key minus s key will give us y minus x. Then multiply by y square plus yx plus x square. Then minus y minus x. Then we be equal to zero. Then we factor. We can factor what is common. Y minus x is common here. So when we factor that out, we have y minus x out. Then what is left inside here? We have y squared plus yx plus x squared then minus you have taken this one out minus one so this was this left here then we can say we multiply these two and the result is zero so we can say from here y minus x we give us zero or this part we give us zero now let's work with we have case one here and the case two we have we have y squared plus y x plus x square minus y equals zero. Now I'm coming back to this, but let's deal with this one first. We know that our y we represent y as two minus s cube. You say y is 2 minus s cube. So we can bring that down and say this will now be 2 minus x cube. Then minus x equals 0. Now let's try and rearrange this one so that we have a cubic equation here. So we can now say we have x cube. When we take, you know, everything to that side now. x cube plus x minus 2 equals to 0. Now, this polynomial now, when we substitute 1 to this polynomial, we get everything equal to 0. That means x equals to 1 is a solution here. x equals to 1 is a solution. So we have x equals to 1 is a solution. And therefore, x minus 1 will be a factor x minus 1 will be a factor. So with when we know this factor, we can get other factor of this polynomial now.
So when we divide by the factor that we know to get the other factor, x going in s cube that will be x square. Then use s square to multiply this back. We have s cube minus s square. Then subtract. We have s cube cancel. No s square. That will be minus minus s square. That's s square. Then we have x minus no x. Here, that's that's plus x. Then you can bring minus to that. Then x go again. We have x in s square. That's plus x. X multiply this again. We have x square. We have x square minus x. Then we subtract again. This cancel each other. We have x minus minus x. That's two x. Then you bring two down. X go again. That will be plus two. Two multiply. We have two x. Then minus two. Subtract. This now we have zero zero when we subtract. So therefore, the other factor, which is a quadratic, is given as x square. So we have x square plus x plus two equal to zero, which is a quadratic equation here. So we can solve for x and say x equals to minus b. Plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. And in this case, our a is 1, b is 1, c is 2. So we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square minus 4a. That's 1 times c. That's 2. Then all over 2a. 2a is 2. So we have here yeah, now that x will now be equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 8 over 2. And 1 minus 8 is minus 7. So we have x is now equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 7 over 2, which is x equals to minus 1 plus or minus root 7r over 2. Of course, this is a complex solution here. Yeah? So the resolution we have is our x equals to 1. This is the resolution we have. Now, when we consider the other part of the equation we had the other time, that is, we have y minus x multiplied by, we had y minus x multiplied by y squared plus yx plus x squared equals to Minus 1 equals to 0. So from here, we discover that this other part, when we solve it, this will not give us a rig. We cannot get any real solution from here. Because here, it's obvious that our solution will be, you know, complex. So therefore, the only real solution we have to this problem is x equals to 1. And we have come to the end of the solution. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. See you in the next class and bye for now.